Greetings, minions, survivalists, and fellow gamers. This is Silverblade playing Seven Days to Die Alpha 18.2. It's episode 59, and uh, we're going live. So what we're gonna do now is uh, we're no longer building the base. We might might add a few things along the way, but those will be from stuff we've actually gathered and not cheated in. So from this point on, we're not cheating in weapons, uh, ammo, um, unless absolutely necessary, but I don't really want to, and I don't really think that's going to be a thing, but we'll see. But for the most part, anything we get is what we're going to find in world. So I guess the first things I need to do is get rid of everything. Even the debug toys, and uh, even the things that were part of the terrain that weren't cheated in, that we picked up off the ground and all that, those are going to be gone too. Uh, I think. Well, actually, I should. Yeah, I should have kept the wire cutters. So we'll have wire tool, and then. Uh, I think I got one back at the base. So we'll keep those. Put them in the repair kit. Uh, base repairs. So that'll go up in there. We have to craft our own or buy uh, the motion sensors, extra turrets. Um, what else? You know, that stuff will also get stored up in here as replacements. Uh, junk turrets, we can also put those out here in the base. Um, not really... They won't, they won't really do much, but considering what was already out here. But we could use those as a, you know, additional sentries. But uh, we'll put all that stuff in, in here, and then we'll get some... You know, like we'll forge up some steel um, ingots and uh, put them in there. In fact, what I'm thinking... I would do, and I should have kept this. Um, let's take this stuff out for a moment. And I need uh, that in there. So I'm going to put another storage box down. Um, Kind of like a dedicated. What's this? What's the difference between the two? Because I kind of like to put forges on things instead of on the floor. Okay, and do that. There. And this can be storage for the metal we're going to put in there. We'll have to. Kind of divide it up between the two, and then ah. uh. there we go. So this will be for the you know the the, the ingots we put up in here. But the manufacturing parts, like the scrap iron and all that, will divide it between the two forges and have th this dedicated for the steel ingots. Um, so we can get rid of this. We need to put these up in there. And get rid of these. Alright, so right now we're pretty much naked uh, of parts anyway. Um, yeah, I didn't... don't think I cheated anything else in there because that would really mess things up. So I think we're all good there. So let's uh, look at the map. And if you're in cheat mode like I am... I think it's control and right click. 
And it should put me on the roof right there. Indeed it works. I haven't been here in a while, and uh, looks like the hell's been beat out of this. Okay, if I recall, yeah, I put all my weapons in here. So this is my regular non-cheated toolbar. And this is my Horde Knight gear, so there's that, and then I think I'll probably put my ammo back up in here. Man, it feels like forever since I've been back to this base. And it kind of has been. Everything's reloaded. Okay, it's all good. Now I'm trying to remember. I know I knew this was food, water, and like storage for the, the goods to sell. That's my seed box. That's something I forgot to put a storage of at the other place. <clears throat> this is my. Forge goods and output stuff. So that's that's good. Okay, is there anything else I needed or wanted? I think we're good. So I am going to turn off God mode. Let me make sure that's good. I think at this point we're we're all all good. So turn off debug. Turn off creative menu, and now we're back to actual regular having to deal with dying and all that stuff. So, patched up the bridge here so we can get back in and out. Let's go. I don't remember everything that was messed up in this house. I mean, it was quite messed up, but. Wow. I'll pick up the turret. <coughs> so they really busted that up. And then the thing that was my downfall was standing on the bottom, what would have been right in here of this uh, ladder. And that's what killed me, or led to me being killed. Because I ran out of the house like a bitch. <laughs> Um, yeah, this house is pretty much gutted. I'm surprised half of it's still standing to tell you guys the truth. But we're going to keep this base. We're not going to, like, go all out to fix it. But just, you know, just get some basic structure back up. Make sure the structural integrity is... Replace. Man, they really went ham on this place. So, seeing the damage they've done here, oh, we got a visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever, titty girl. <laughs> oh. I do love those floaty heads, but that was rewarding. Once we did at the other base, you know, I had the sniper rifle. Uh, I was in cheat mode. This was rewarding because it wasn't cheated. It was legitimate weapons, and boom, right off the bat, one shot, all thrill. <laughs> Alright, back to what we were doing. We gotta 
basically just seal up the, the, the place. And that was kind of goofy. Actually, we could seal this all the way up. I'm not gonna nail it all in. Just leaving the frames. And just trying to get the house just to protect the structural integrity so it doesn't collapse on me. So I don't don't think that's very healthy. <laughs> yeah, to put it one way or another. And I want to get back into exploring, I want to get back into uh, looting. Get through the kitchen here. So everything I mean there that's all bashed up but Kitchen is kitchen is surprisingly intact. Bathroom not so much. Looks like they really tore up the shitter. <laughs> that's a that's a one Taco Bell dinner to, to end Taco Bell dinners. I guess. Something with words like that. Yeah, okay, got that there. Oh boy, ape. went ape on this stuff. And I'm all out of frames. Peachy. Oh, we'll have to take some of this down make some more there should be some wood yeah in here We're just, I'm more just worried about keeping the house intact. It's not going to be a, a horde base anymore. It's just, uh, as I said before, it's an overnight spot in case I'm out, you know, got caught out in the wild or something, and I didn't, couldn't get back to the, to the, my main base in time. Not a big, big deal. So, everything's back in there. Wow, they even pounded out parts of walls that don't matter. I mean, like, randomly beat the hell out of that. The door's all messed up. I guess we, we might at some point come back and repair all that and just kind of shore it all up because I would I would hate to have to get in you know have zombies break in you know, like a wandering horde or something uh, and have to deal with that so it might be it might be worthwhile to seal it all up hell if I could I would Entirely fill this whole house up with uh, blocks 
and not have to worry about things like this little ladder here. Alright, that was dumb. <laughs> Jeez. Well. I'll have to redo that, I think. But I'm not too worried about that. Alright, so. Um, we gotta go around at some point. We gotta start replenishing our wood. I don't have any in there. Okay, got some signs, so we'll have to go out and uh, tack these up at the shops that we haven't visited yet. I don't remember exactly what I have and haven't been at. Uh, but what we were doing is we would mark the day and the time, or well, the date and the time, roughly, of when we were last at a place. So all we have to do is, you know, days later, drive by and we can look at the date and compare it. And it's like, oh, okay, I was here X number of days ago. This stuff hasn't respawned. So I wouldn't go near the place and until the... Uh, time has made it so that everything would respond, which is, I think, five days. Um, now, Tom Clement had mentioned to have something up here, like, you know, you know a reminder board of when, when you were last at a place, and I would make notes, but they would get lost or erased, and um, so we just kind of rough it. <laughs> I mean, we're already cheated a good deal through the game. So, you know, kind of rough it a little bit. And it's so weird having to get re reused to eating and drinking Ooh. in cheat mode. That wasn't uh, a thing. Um, what do I want to do? Well, right now I think we need to go and get some, gather some resources, and I need to get my tools. That's something I, I uh, dialy miss. So we've got that, that, and that. We can put. Let's see which one was it? Well, we can put the spare tools, or weapons, in here. So we won't be mean those. Um, the junk turret. We'll put that in here for now. Um, let's see, where did I put my other ones? Okay, so I got a bunch up in here. All low level ones. Um, that's the thing about me is when I play a game and, it, and I get like max level stuff, like here in Seven Days of Die, I get the, the best guns and, and such, and uh, or Battle Tech as it is right now. You know, I got I've been playing. Uh, you know, my side game is off camera. Has been, you know, I got the the best mechs and all the good stuff. And then when you start over for making a YouTube channel back at the at basics and it's just like, whoa, it, it's, it's kind of like, oh damn, I, I, I remember back, way back when, when things were this crappy. <laughs> yeah. um, but it, it's just a readjustment. All right, let's, uh, let's go chopping. Oh, and I need to advance time, so I need to go back in the debug menu. OK, 
Okay, I gotta wait for time to scooch by. Because I don't know. Whoa. He never comes at night. So that totally messed something up there. So after midnight, then I can go back to the daytime. And then I have to scroll ahead another day. And time's not moving for me. like that uh, huh that's just funny to watch that m the moon just go whoop Twenty-three thirteen. Okay, now time's moving. Let's see. Twenty-three forty-five. All right, now it's okay. For a sec there, it didn't look like it was moving at all or advancing. And these trees have grown. That's weird. Wait, was that me? I don't recall a tree being that easy to cut down. Not that good. Whoop. And these aren't cheating tools. Damn it. Alright, we just... Uh... That's just ooky. Ah, wrong one. I think because I've changed the time so much, it's screwed. And it also could have been the save game corruption. Ouch. It might have nerfed some of these trees. And for some reason... Go get him, Wolfie! Get him, boy! Bite his ass! Chew it right out! Chew his ass! Get him! He's had a taste for human blood and human meat, so I couldn't couldn't allow him to live. <laughs> boy, that was a nice headshot, I gotta say. There's bad Albert. Hey, hey, hey. All right, let's open your head like up like a canoe. All right. And actually, it's what, like more like turn his head into a canoe. Whatever, I don't know. I'm just... At this point, I'm tired. So give me a break. I hope this isn't the way it is with all trees. I know these were, were done before. I mean, I've chopped them down before, but I didn't replant them. After midnight, let's go back to the debug menu. Oh boy, I hope this, uh. There's a better advanced days here. Alright, day 17. If you guys could, um. 
especially if you're exper if you know the game well if you could give me the uh, debug menu command for setting the time out the actual format like debug set time something exactly as it would be typed in the game because I, I can never get it to work I'm not exactly sure of how that works out you know how uh, the time format for it if you guys could uh, let me know in the comment section I want to I want to set the date and time to day 20 let's say um, 9 a.m. and also what is up with my axe one shot chopping these trees this isn't a super axe although I I shouldn't complain but at the same time that's that's cheaty and I don't I'm not I'm not playing cheaty anymore I don't want to do this all the time Yeah, this, this one sh one chop drop thing is well cool in one regard. I haven't earned it. And I feel like I need to earn earn it now as opposed to accepting that cheats happen. Actually, I could probably break this up. Okay, this seems normal. Uh, it could be that the model for the tree is wrong. Let's see. So that's for grass. Okay. It said that was a 600 tree. And I chopped it in like one and a half things. I don't know. Something's just off. Okay, now this is normal. So those trees must have been bugged. Now, now I'm feeling a little bit better because those other trees, I, I actually chopped those down way long ago. And that one apparently I got. And that one. So that one tree must have been one I haven't gotten to before. doesn't appear to be taking too much damage, but then again, it's not chopping enough to uh, warrant it. And just kind of casually walking after midnight, or after, after dark. When the zombie's looking around. There we go. So this is a this is a tree I hadn't gotten to. All the others are like respawned. Oh. 
Double tap. Back to work. Okay, so I'm not really concerned now with the trees. Just the ones that I already chopped down. That that bothers me, but everything that I hadn't gotten to hadn't chopped down before seems to be working normally. Yeah, this is a bug one. What do I got? Not bad. See, that's one of the reasons why I don't like... I really have apprehensions about cheating stuff is... Um, well, it speed things up. Tends to take take away from things a little bit. Where are you at? There you are. You coming back to visit me? <laughs> Alright, she done. I didn't realize just how far I've been wandered off from uh, the base. I'll need all these resources, uh, the wood, the, the stone, uh, partially is, the, the wood is fuel for the forges, the stone to make concrete, which would, would be useful in, uh, in some of the repairs, but if I want to build another base, I can use it for that. Alright, that's lead. And I might as well take advantage of this. And I'm gonna do that. And we'll have to get into some mining in a future episode. Let's run back. I got so stupidly pampered with the uh, intangibleness and flying mode. It just. It's like, man, I got ruined. I got wrecked. This is why I just don't like cheating stuff in. Although. Considering the circumstances, it was necessary. <laughs> Still got the skills to pay the bills. For... Yeah. Alright, let's get back into base. Call it an episode. I still got to advance time again. Because we, I, I want to pick up on day 20. Alright, let's get this packed away. Yeah. 
Alright. That is it for this episode. Let me see if I can advance time again. It's going to be... No, i got to go into debug mode. Apparently I can't scroll up past day 16, which sucks. Anyways, uh, we're going to just advance time a little bit, and hopefully uh, with the next episode, we will do some exploring. we got to go after that airdrop. This, you know, we haven't seen one in quite some time, actually. Uh, and I still have to get some resources. I hear something punched being punched over here. Ah, there you are. I don't know if that finished her. Let's, uh, make sure the key, uh... Yep, she done. But, yeah, we got, gotta gather up some resources. Um, man, they're all over here tonight, aren't they? I think that might have been a headshot. I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. We're getting we're getting slowly <laughs> back to going live, going with the normal gameplay, or mostly normal gameplay. And then the Horde Night, we're going to get into our new cozy little base and see how it does. I, I'm really looking forward to that. We'll probably be seeing that yeah, next week, most likely. So, uh, you know, something to look forward to, all right? All right, I'm done babbling. Check out the links in the description, and see you later. Twitch. Twitch.